Hey, Fred. Angie? Isn't it nice that we've moved in right next door to the family of eccentricity? Yeah, it is. And we're just as eccentric as they are. I mean, a teddy bear and a ballerina doll? I know. Hmm. Hmm. Not yet, love. What? Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. Well, Angie and Fred, you can't ride to the chase, don't you? Well, we're new to this. I know, neighbours. But how does it feel to be a couple? Brilliant. Better than being housemates. I'm very glad to hear that. Aren't you over there, Santa? <laughs> yes, Bodsy, I am over here. Uh, that's not what I meant. Oh, sorry. Yes, I agree. I very much agree with you there, Bodsy. Excellent. What about you up there, Snugs? You're talking to me, brother. That's right. It's brilliant. And uh, let me be... Not the first to welcome you to the neighbourhood. Thank you, Snugsy. But we enjoy snuggling together. Well, I uh, wouldn't blame you. You are, after all, what we call a couple. Well, thanks for that, Snugsy Obvious. Happy snuggling! Okay guys. We'll leave you to it. Call us if you need anything. We will. Excellent. To infinity! And I also... Angie and Fred. Hello, Poppy. Oh, sweet Poppy. Bless you both. And I'll bless you. But why have you made me sound like this? Oh, sorry. That's better. It is, isn't it? Well, I'll leave you to it. two doing? We're doing splendidly, thank you, Safi. I'm glad to hear it. Aren't we all? Well, give me a shout if you need anything. We'll do that. Why well, don't we have such lovely neighbours? We certainly do. And now let's... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dear.
<laughs> okay. Hello, uh, Santa here. No, it's not Christmas, but I am part of the uh, toy theatre, so I've been made part of this show's cast. So I'm now one of Budsy's friends. <laughs> Merry friendship. Merry friendship indeed, Santa. Hello, Budsy. Hello. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Is there anything we can do for you? Um, uh, you've made me comfortable enough, thank you. Hey, that is excellent news, sir. Excellent news. I'm glad you think so, James. I, I mean, Bodsy. Oh, well, I am a representation of the show's creator. Yes, you are, aren't you? You're a good boy. I know I am. And you're a loving old man. Well, thank you very much. But I don't think my age has anything to do with it. <laughs> oh dear. I can't help being jolly. That's jolly good, Santa. Oh, ho, 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 Angelina. Oh, ho, 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 to you too, Santa. And how, how, how are you today? I'm... Very well, 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 thank you, hoo hoo. Well, the doctor's not here right now, but. Doctor! <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Is anybody else going to turn up today, I wonder? Well, uh. Seeing as I'm in Budsy's house right now, any one of his other family members could see and come and talk to me. Such as his wife, for instance? Oh, ho, ho, Safi! Oh, ho, ho, Santa! Um, how are you settling in? Very well, thank you. And how are you, my pretty? Uh, very well, thank you. Uh, do you think you're the Wicked Witch of the West or something? Because we're not off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of not us. Oh, I need to go and tidy myself up. Well... I think that might be it. Although I would like to see the beautiful Poppy, but that will have to wait. Oh, well, well, well. Be good for goodness sake.
Ah, it certainly is a relaxing time for us, isn't it? Look. It certainly is, Hobbsy. And, oh, I think I see Fred and Angelina coming to join us. Please do, guys. We're having a relaxing time as couples here. We certainly are. Yeah. It's a day for it, after all. Well, a few days away, actually, but let's celebrate now, eh? Indeed, let's. I agree also. You know, it's a shame that Snugsy and Santa don't have any significant others to spend the day with. It, mm, it is. Neither does Poppy, for that matter. Uh, no, but let's not, you know. And what, what, what Budsy's trying to say is, let's not shun them for it. Thank you, sweetie. Let's not shun them for it. Because I'm pretty sure it will happen eventually. Yeah, like laters. By the way, Fred and I have some news. Oh, please share it with us. We are going to be having a kid. Congratulations. When you say having a kid, I'm pregnant. What else does it mean? Oh, congratulations. Cheers, guys. We love you guys. We love you too. And you guys can be the godparents, by the way. We're honoured. You're no one called Joey. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Dun dun dun! Okay now, I'm just getting ready to pop out for a bit. Oh, uh, well that's appropriate seeing as my name's Poppy and all that, but um, oh dear. So, uh, what am I going to do then? I, I'm going out, but I need someone, I need to let my parents know. I don't want to be one of those naughty girls who uh, goes out without telling anybody. Is anybody in? Hello? Poppy, did you call? I did, Mum. 
Is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. Um, um, I called to let you know I'm going out for a bit. Okay, where are you going? Just for a walk. Okay, darling, have a nice time. And be safe. I'll be safe, you can be sure of that. I'm off for a walk, I'm off for a walk, I'm off for a I'm off for a walk, I'm off for a walk. I'm off for a walk. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ding! What have we here? Oh! Can't buy anything, do not have any money. I'm back. Where's the rest of you? Very funny, Dad. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, Poppy, can you join me in here a moment, please? Yes, Mum? What is it?
Oh, I can go then. No, you can't, young lady. You weren't talking to me, though. That's what I want to talk to you about. Sit down. It's my understanding that while you were out for a walk the other day, that you went out of bounds. Is that true? Uh, how do you know that? I had a reliable source come and tell me about it. A reliable source? Was it ketchup? Dun dun dun. I'm sorry, but joking is not appropriate for this point in time. Well, that's okay. I will just turn the clock forward to when it is. Sit down, young lady. Did you or did you not go out of bounds? Well, this stunned silence is more than evidence enough you're keeping a secret. I did not go out of bounds. Are you sure? I'm Poppy, not the deodorant. Dun -dum -dum -dum. I said joking is not appropriate for this point in time, I know. So, you went out of bounds then, did you? Well, nobody told me I couldn't. Out of bounds means you can't go to a certain area. Where did you go? I only went into, uh... Oh... The cameraman's mum's room. Oh, okay, you went into the cameraman's mom's room. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Was that a confession, Poppy? You went into my mom's room? That is out of bounds. Sorry, but you're not allowed in there. Oh, I see. You went into the cameraman's mom's room. What? 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 Are you serious, young lady? You went into the cameraman's mum's room? Well, it was empty and there was no out of bounds sign on the door. You heard it from the man himself just a few seconds ago. It is out of bounds for anyone to go there. Including you, cameraman. Whoops any one of us to go there, I should have said. Yes, Poppy, I'm afraid so. For going out of bounds, you have been a very naughty girl. No more walks for you for a while. Wait, before you get my punishment out of the way, why is it out of bounds? Can we have the answer to that, please?
Yes, you certainly can. It's out of bounds because Kenny once snuck in there without anyone knowing and played peeping Tom on my mum. Shouldn't have said that. But he did peep around her bed at her without us even knowing. That's why it's out of bounds, Poppy. Oh, that's a good enough reason. I apologise. But I'm afraid, young lady, that you're grounded for a while. How long? Two weeks should do the trick. Now go to your room. I apologise for any inconvenience Poppy may have caused. Oh, Poppy, can I see you for a moment, please? I'm on my way, Mum. You wanted to see me? I certainly did. Can you please sit down? Right, I'm going to take your grounding off. I forgive you for your stray out of bounds two weeks ago. Has it really been two weeks already? It only feels like yesterday. Yes, it's been two weeks already. Phew. For a moment then, I thought I was on the rocks. Do not make jokes like that again, young lady. Well, all is forgiven, anyway. So, I'm forgiven on my mum's part, but what about the cameraman's? Am I forgiven, cameraman? Yeah, all is forgiven, Pops. Um, I mean, Poppy. There. Do you feel better now, darling? I certainly do. Well, I won't do that again anyway. Forgive and forget, that's what I always say. Really? Because it sounds like you've only just come up with that. It looks to me like I've owned my mother. I'm out of here. That daughter of ours can be so strange sometimes. Yes, I know I'm a mermaid. You don't need to point that out. But I forgive you if you do. Tch 
Just a memoriam at the moment over Pops, but I don't understand why he's no longer with us. Are you okay, Poppy darling? Mm, what's the matter? I don't understand why Pops isn't with us anymore. Oh, well, speaking of Pops. Title drop down. The reason he's not with us anymore Oh gosh, this is such a hard thing to explain. It's because he passed away. You mean, he died? Yes. I'm afraid he did. Oh, that's, that's sad. I know. Far be it. Our cameraman and creator of this show. Working out how... It happened for him to be uh, unceremoniously removed from the cast. That was his ex explanation. Thing. Hey now. Your grandfather wouldn't want you to stay upset. I know, but I've only just found out, to be honest with you. Snugsy, I'm sorry to hear that. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Will do, thank you. You're welcome, Poppet. I'm sorry that you had to find out this way, sweetie. We just found it hard knowing how to tell you. That's okay, Dad. Well, we 
we're here for you. You can clearly tell, like us, you need the comforts. We're sorry that this week's episode has had to be on a sad note, guys. We hope the cheerfulness can return next time. But we had to use this episode to explain why Pops isn't in the show anymore. And yes, that really is the confirmed canonical reason for his absence. We hope this doesn't put you off, and we hope that you find Santa a worthy replacement. Because he's the old man of the show from now on. back for another run are we well i actually just got back from a run i'm super perked up that's good to know freddy boy where's angelina um well she's teaching ballet at the moment ah teaching ballet wait teaching ballet yeah she got promoted to teacher oh well good for her oh yeah i'm super proud of her by the way Show it, man. I am showing it. Well, okay, let's uh, let's see you do the dance of the uh, sugar plum berry. Uh, what? The sugar plum berry? Okay. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Don't you mean the sugar plum fairy? No, I mean the sugar plum berry. But there's no such dance. Yeah. It's from that ballet, isn't it? It's from... The Jawbreaker. The Jawbreaker? You mean the Nutcracker? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I mean the Jawbreaker. The sugar plum berry. I've never heard of it. Who is it by? Uh, mm, yeah. Uh, I think his name was Wolfen. 
Adamus Mazzati, uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, and uh, it is the Sugar Plum Fairy, and it is the Nutcracker. Angelina's taught me all about it. Oh, of course. Okay. I'll leave you to it then. Hello, Fred. Hello, Budsy. <coughs> Pardon? Hello, Budsy. I'm not Budsy. I'm Snugsy. Oh, of course you are. Hello, Snugsy. I know we're all perked up and everything now, but... Is that an excuse to go getting our names wrong? That's very naughty. Oh dear, oh dear. The awful ponds just never stop, do they? Are you okay there, Fred? I'm very well, thank you. I mean very well, thank you, Poppy. Are we all turning into Snugsies here? Uh, no, I hope not. By the way, Angelina Cord says she needs you to go down to her studio right now. There's been a bit of a situation. A bit of a situation? What sort of situation? One of her students accidentally put a sharp object through her foot. I accidentally put a sharp object through her foot. What? Wait, what? I better get down to the bloody studio then. Thanks, Poppy. <sighs> wow, this is some perk up, isn't it? Bring. Anybody home? Hello? Uh. Well, I thought this was the home of Budsy and his friends, but they don't appear to be in, so I will just sit here and wait. Hello? Hello there. I'm... I know, you're Ross Geller. That's right, from Friends, and you are? I'm Snugsy. Ah, uh, yes, I thought you ought to cushion everybody's fall. But um bum bum That's a good one. But what do you think of me being two-faced, eh? <laughs> okay. Very, very good.
Budsy. Hello, Ross. So you found it. Um, you found your way here, all right? Yes, I did. And thanks for the invite. Not a problem, Ross. Please make yourself at home and try not to cheat on anyone while you're here. Oh, dear. Oh, we were on a break, by the way. Oh, thank you, Budsy. Am I going to become the punchline of every joke around here? Well, let's hope not, eh? David Schwimmer? No, I'm Ross Geller. Yeah, David Schwimmer from Friends. No, I'm Ross Geller, not David Schwimmer. David Schwimmer is the actor who plays me in the sitcom Friends. Well, what a swimming guest we've got here. <laughs> but have you cheated on anyone like uh, lately? Why does everybody keep saying this? We were on a break! That old gag, eh? No, I'm not gay. I never said you were. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy your visit. Thank you, uh, what's your name? Oh, how rude of me. Ted. Fred Ted. <laughs> okay, Fred. You're not James Bond. My name's Poppy, by the way, Ross. Uh, we're glad to have you here. A ah, very beautiful unicorn princess. Thank you very much. But if you do take a dip in the pool, don't go swimming out of your depth. Oh, very funny. <laughs> Sarcasm. you got to love it. Oh, what a very intriguing man you are, Mr. Geller. You don't have to call me Mr. It's just Ross. And you are? I'm Angelina, the ballerina. Oh, like the kids' TV show? Uh, named after, but I'm not a mouse. And I'm spoken for, I'm afraid. Another cheating on Rachel joke. Honestly, we were on a break. Very touchy about it, aren't you? Maybe we should all stop reminding him about that and make him feel at home. Thank you, Safi. No problem at all, Ross. We should find you a room to stay in while you're here. A guest room, that is. So, if you'll please follow me, then we'll put you up for one. Ah, uh, in one. Well, thank you, madam. Dun, 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 dun. Show's over, folks. Move it along.
Ah, what a wonderful evening. Although it is kind of late, so we need to do this one as a speedy one, eh? Do you get me? Yeah, I do actually, Budsy, don't worry. Oh, what are we watching here then? Oh, don't remind me. Don't remind you of what, Budsy? That's a kind of strange thing for him to go. Oh, wait. I, it's kind of late for this to be happening, but... Oh, who gives a fluff, eh? Uh, the wife is only over there. I should be watching me fluffing mouth. Yes. And also, my mother doesn't like it when I swear. So I better watch what I say, if I don't want to get punished again. <laughs> what was that? Obviously not a regeneration parody because I still look the same. <laughs> My sweet daughter. It's a very sweet girl. She is, isn't she? Although that doesn't give you the right to cheat on Rachel then, Ross. Whoops. Do me a favour, and don't remind me of that again, because we were on a break. <sighs> Please. All I ask. Is that you stop putting that reference in? Okie dokie, now it's time for me to do a little bit of magical fixing. Uh, fixing of what exactly? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, oh, yes, that's right, my name is Poppy. And I'm a unicorn princess. Oh, yes, that's right. My name is Poppy. And I'm a unicorn princess. Dun 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 dun. 
And there's my clever daughter making up songs about herself as usual. Oh, Mum, please don't. Please don't embarrass me. Sorry, dear. So, what are you up to, my clever daughter? Well, not much. But I do believe that this is what I want to be doing. Boom! Poof! Is there anything I can do to help you, though? Not right now, darling. But thanks anyway. Okay, well, I'm going to go and work on my project for school. Okay, darling. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for you to see it. That's our clever daughter. She never ceases to amaze me. I think it's time we uh, cut the camera now. Because it's a top secret. I shouldn't have said that. No, I should not have said that. Bad poppy, bad poppy, bad poppy, bad, bad, bad poppy. Ah, now isn't this lovely, Angie dear? Yes, Fred, my teddy husband. We don't normally get time together. We do, but we don't often get it alone together. That's what I meant. And, uh... And, uh, what? Darling? Well, um... You're my... Immortal bride? Yes, I am. How did this happen, then? Well, I'm... So... Well, we were doing, I think, what was it, a toy comedy episode, and, uh, something killed me. And Poppy, uh, brought me back to life using her unicorn magic. And since then, every death I've suffered has become undone, and I've been able to live. From where I've left off. I see. Unicorn magic brought you back to life and made you this way. I love it. Mwah. I love it too. I consider it to be a magic blessing. Yeah, me too. To have a bride like you and uh... Now... 
to know that you can't. What? What's going on? I, I don't think I'll come over a woozy. <sighs> oh dear. <sighs> Lay down, dear. I've lost all my. F I've lost. I think I, I think I might need to. I need. I might need help finding my way around. How can you have gone blind? Shouldn't you be healing instantly? I don't think this form works like that. <laughs> now don't worry folks, don't worry. <sighs> Although I uh, do kind of freak out when this happens still a bit. Hey, I am. Um, I thought immortality meant the holder of the ability couldn't die. Well, what's happened here then? Has it run out? Oh, please don't tell me it's run out. Please. <laughs> Fred? Are you okay? No. I'm not. Why not? Well, because you're d oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, Barry. Oh. I'm not going anywhere. So what the um what I've discovered since this has happened is uh, uh my wife Angie has had a new a, a new ability bestowed upon her since being brought back to life a new ability what are you talking about Fred well she appears to be unable to die Unable to die? Since when? Well, since Poppy brought her back to life using magic. Wait, are you telling us she's... Afraid so, she's died before. But... Uh, wait a minute, what do you mean she can't die, Fred? Well, it's like this. When you brought me back to life, Poppy dear... I can't die anymore since then. What? Huh? What? Uh... Wow! I'm speechless. That's absurd. Uh, we thought so too, didn't we, Fred? Yeah. Well, that's why we wanted to bring it to your attention. Uh... But how can you expect us to believe it? Well, Alan, um, if you hang around a bit longer, you might just get the proof you seek. But also, so soon, I can't stop having accidents that temporarily bump me off. Um, right, so you're now accident prone as well as immortal. That's right, Budsy. And, uh, 
I need to find a way to stop having these accidents. <laughs> you might think it's funny, Alan, but I, uh, sort of don't. What is it, dear? Apparently, us immortals can't conceive. Dun dun dun! Can't conceive? Well, fuck me! Not right now, dear. <laughs> dun 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 dun! dun. So, I need to find a way of losing my power. Whoa, um, you can still adopt. That's true. But, <gasps> oh, <sighs> I was uh, hoping uh, to be able to see <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Hello there, folks. What's going on here, then? Well, Santa, you're about to receive the revelation of a lifetime and witness it before your very eyes. I can't see anything happening, Fred. <laughs> Nor can I. My condolences there, old chap. What do you mean, condolences? Well, she appears to have... Ba-boom. 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 Silver bells? Ba-boom. 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 There's a proof, people. <laughs> Holy crap! That's all our reaction to there, Santa. Huh? How did this happen? Well... I think I can feel that one. You see, the other day, or more like a few weeks back, uh, depending how long you look at it, Angie and I were just having fun talking and frolicking around, and, well, she accidentally killed herself. And I used some of my magic, very powerful it was, and brought her back to life. Well, I think the proof that she is immortal has now been handed to us. Yeah, that's pretty conclusive. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you, I guess. We know you wanted to conceive, so did I, dear, but... Adoption's not a bad alternative. No, it's not. But who do we adopt? Hubba! 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 Hubba!
Say, Jamie. Yeah, Darren. Isn't it wonderful that we get our own episode of this? It certainly is. So, uh, let us prepare. Prepare for what? To have some fun, of course. I couldn't agree more, Darren. That's what we're here for. It certainly is. So, let's get off and start planning it. Yay! We are just little teddy bear cubs though. Just little teddy bear cubs, are you? You are our little teddy bear cubs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, besides, uh, besides girls, your mum and I need to talk to you. What about? <coughs> now don't go thinking you're in trouble, girls, because that's not what this is. We just want to make sure that while you play, you play safe. We'll play safe, don't worry. That's our girls, because we don't want you coming down with anything. Like what? Like, uh, Cupvid, for example. Cupvid? What's that? It's this new mutation. Disease, if you will, that affects young bear cubs. So we're going to have to uh, keep you inside, but that shouldn't stop you from having fun. Your mum and I will join you. That sounds great, mum and dad. So, uh, what should we do first? I've got an idea. Why don't we go into the den over there and your mum and I will take turns quizzing you girls. That sounds, that sounds like fun. We're glad you think so girls, so let's go and do this. We're in cup sitting today, tonight, well the cubs are way past in bed, but they have been warned of the cub vid. The virus has been going around. Um. Poppy? Yes, Dad? I've been asked to come and bring you home. Why's that? Apparently, uh... One of the twins has contracted the dreaded Cupvid virus and Angie and Fred don't think it's safe for you to be here, quite frankly, nor do your mum and I. Can, can we be susceptible to it? Well, uh, we could well be. But we're not bear cubs. Uh, no. But it can still be contracted from one species to another. Oh, well, that makes sense. I'm coming then. At a girl. Come with me and I'll get you back to safety. Because this is a very worrying thing, and we don't need any one of us contracting the dreaded virus.
Hello, Hopsy. Hi, dear. Uh, is it all sorted then? Yes, it is. It was easy, um, easy to get her out of there. I'm so sorry to drag you away from your babysitting job like this, darling. I understand, Mum. However, so I do find it quite strange how species that aren't bears, or cubs for that matter, to contract the virus. We can if we're not careful, darling. So going out, we're going to need to start to wear masks. And keep two metres away from people. Aren't there vaccinations available? Uh, yes, there are, but we haven't been notified we can go and get them yet. Oh, in that case we'll have to socially distance. Yeah, I'm afraid so. But we're going to have fun together, don't worry. Alright folks, what you've just seen in Budsy and Friends is a cautionary tale featuring a fictional virus similar to that of the real one that's going around the world at the moment. This pandemic is no joke. And for those who think it is, don't be idiots. Go and get vaccinated. And if you know of anyone who has the, 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 the disease, stay away from them. And if you've mixed anyone who had the disease, then you'll have to socially distance from friends and family for about a week or so, or, or a week or two. Yes, uh, this is one of a handful of episodes in any franchise to deal with a serious subject matter. Because this dreaded COVID-19 pandemic is going to get worse before it gets any better. So we thought we should do that as a cautionary tale. Thanks for watching and I hope you've taken it to heart. Oh dear, yeah, you twins, uh, ouch, oof, 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 what is it, the daddy, 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 oh dear, looks like our twins aren't feeling very well, Freddy, oh dear, oh dear, 
<sighs> what are we gonna do, the? I think we have to go and get them diagnosed, but uh, we we don't know any doctors. So I, th I think they just got colds. That's the last thing we need right now with sick twins on the go. Or right, you two are going to bed. We do. We need you better. What's wrong with us, Dad? Uh, I, I, please tell us what's wrong with us. I think you just got cold, Steers. Come on. Off to bed. Well, actually, I think I need to take you to the doctor first. To see if we can get a proper diagnosis. But, what, what, Doctor Who? <laughs> Exactly. Now, come on. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> okay, let's get you two to the doctor then and see. Let us see what's wrong with you. Are you coming, Freddy? Yes, dear. Well, let's get us poor twins off to the doctors. Doc Doctor who? Exactly. Dun 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 dun. 